Welcome back to your weekly steaming news dump. I'm Molly with the Feminist Buzzkills podcast, and we are going to start with a vicious upper decker. The Georgia Supreme Court has upheld their six-week abortion ban, which makes it one of 16 states who have a near-total ban. But it's not over yet. Defenders of abortion access are going back to court to argue that the law violates the Georgia Constitution's guaranteed right to privacy. The state is counter-arguing that an abortion should be a decision between a doctor, their patient, and a super pack of white men who have all bailed their sons out of jail for hazing. We're going to head west on Interstate 10 to Texas, unless, of course, you are driving someone to get an abortion. Lubbock has become the fourth and largest county in Texas to pass an ordinance that outlaws driving someone to get an abortion through their county. This is part of a trend of making residents terrified to leave their state to get care. And it works just like their abortion ban, making vigilantes out of citizens to police and sue each other to enforce the law. Which is great news for women who didn't think enough men harassed them at gas stations. Hey, little ladies, you look pretty fertile. You're going to have to come with me. We're going to make a U-turn on this highway to hell, straight to D.C., after three long, chaotic weeks, we finally have a Speaker of the House. Boy, what a speaker it is. Introducing anti-abortion extremist Mike Johnson. Mike hails from the great state of Louisiana. His interests include supporting a national abortion ban, being against gay marriage and legalized weed, saying gay sex should be criminalized, and in his free time, plotting a coup to overthrow democracy. Congratulations, Mike. We hope you don't choke on a tampon. That's been your steaming news dump. Make sure to listen to the Feminist Buzzkills podcast for more information. And as always, come back here next week to get caught up on all the crap.